Hi everyone, how's it going? I'm Melissa and this is Lifestyle Makes Sense. Thank you so much for joining me or returning to my channel. This is October. Seemed like I was just saying it's September. We have two more full months left in 2024. Wow, can you believe that? This is week one of October and I'm basically going to give you a brief overview of what my month plans to be like. So we have four weeks of paydays for me. I get paid every Monday. I pay myself every Monday and there's only four Mondays in the month of October. We just came off of September, which was a no spend month. It was a fabulous no spend month. I was able to finish 64 mini challenges and that was great and that helped me to partially fund a trip that I'm taking at the end of this month to Nashville Tennessee yay so I'm looking forward to that um September was a very busy month for me it's like the first of the year it's my new year for me and my businesses that I operate I always start them over every September. So it's always busy. But carrying forward, September was a very productive month. It was a financially productive month for me. And most of my money right off the bat goes back into my businesses. So I do keep a lot of the money separate from me personally spending it. So while I may only pay myself $850 per week, I do put the other money that I earn into my business, back into my business. And that just helps me to keep my businesses going and growing. And if I ever eventually get sick of any of the businesses that I'm doing, which I'm constantly changing anyway, but if I ever get tired of them, then I just transfer those business funds over into um, a different part of my business. But for the most part, yes, I probably could be out of debt. I could owe no credit card debt. Yes, I could probably make bukus of payments additional to on my mortgage principal. Yes, I could take a trip around the world if I wanted to. But the thing for me is balance. Everything in my life needs to be balanced. And the way that I balance my life is by dedicating my funds to my business. I'm not anywhere close to um, social, social security age. So I need to build up, if I decide to stop working at social security age, I need to build up my funds enough that I'll be able to just live off that and be happy, be content, and that's what I do. Now, I do pay myself a salary because it's easier for me to just deal with my money on a salary basis other than just saying, oh, I got this available or I have this coming in. That helps me to stay focused by paying myself a salary. Even when I had a full-time job working for other people, I always, I got paid by my company, whoever I worked for, um, but I always dedicated a certain amount every week of my check or every two weeks, however I got paid for me. And that's similar to what my budget is like. I have, I make money, but I only dedicate a small amount to me. And from that money, I use it to pay my all my bills and I use it to do all my recreation, entertainment, fun, eating out, all of that. If I were to need extra, then I could very well up my pay for the week because I do, I am on a variable income basis. I don't have to pay myself the same thing every month, every week, but I choose to pay myself the same thing every week. Some months are slower than others with income coming in and some months are more lucrative than others. So I feel it's in my best interest to fluctuate my income based on what I have going on, based on my knowing that, okay, during this time of year, this part of my business is slow. During that time of year, it's very busy. So I base my income off of that. Matter of fact, I just recently, in the past few months or so, earlier this year, gave myself a raise. 
I mean, I don't even really consider it a raise, but it's a, it's more than I would pay myself usually. So I, I just upped that earlier this year. I don't anticipate upping that anytime soon. Um, but I do vary, vary my income based on the needs, based on the business, business um, slowness or fastness. I base that off that. So a lot of people may have been wondering, well, if you have this business, that business, that business, why do you owe credit card debt? That's why, because I pay myself an income. And yes, I could take my business money and pay off all these credit card bills, pay some on my mortgage and, and just call it a day. But number one, what fun is that? Is that teaching me a lesson? No. Number two, I want to do it. I want to be disciplined enough to be able to get a certain amount of money and live off of it. Because I feel like if all these businesses go down the drain tomorrow, then am I going to be disciplined enough to not spend, not overspend. So that's what my budget is teaching me. I hope that makes sense to many of you. Um, here lately, I have really been in the habit of using two credit cards, one for all my expenses, the other one for all my personal bills that I have, except for credit cards. Um, I do that basically because I, I am able to control my credit card spending better than I'm able to control my cash spending. And it's been that way forever. It don't seem like it, maybe because I'm in credit, I have credit card debt, <laughs> but these two particular credit cards, I don't keep debt on it. I don't have rollover debt. So that's what's the difference. And really and truly, I didn't have to have credit card debt on my other credit cards. It's just what I chose to do based on what I pay myself, what I earn, how I balance, how I budget. And when I start being more focused on my debt journey, then you'll see me add more money towards my debt because it's a challenge to me to get it done maybe within a certain period of time or just to be able to become debt free from my credit cards. Those are challenges to me that I ch challenge myself with because I get bored really, really quick. So that's that i needed to explain that didn't need to actually i just wanted to explain it okay um i want to start saving for property taxes real real soon don't know if it'll be during the month of october but it definitely needs to be in the month of november because the property taxes are due between december and february i need to really start saving for those and even though Three of the properties come out of my business account. I still budget for those property taxes um, as if they were my personal because I don't have to have those three properties in Laurel. I don't. So they are my personal properties in Laurel, Mississippi, and I don't necessarily have to have those, but they're just kind of personal goals of mine to fulfill. And I also need to... Um, start saving for my insurance payments. Now, I've paid up my insurances, most of them except for life insurance um, and my shed insurance. I've paid up most of them up through next year. The only one that's due this year again is my car insurance. It's due November 4th. I definitely got to boost up my month ahead or save up some money so that I can start paying paying that again if I choose to pay it by the month or I need to boost that up, beef it up a little bit so I can pay another six months ahead. My scooter insurance, my renter's insurance for the U-Haul, the dental and the ring security, they're not due until next year, 2025. And I say that as if next year is far off. It's not far off. So that's where we are with my budget, budget, budget right now. And I want to let you know that if you are working full time for someone else, or even if you're working for yourself and you are not paying yourself a set income or a specific amount that you think that you're valued at for your, you know, to get your bills and stuff paid, then think about doing that because then put the rest aside. Just put it in an account and that's a good way to save money as well. But if you know that your finances 
or over your bills and expenses, then set aside just that amount for your personal, your bills and expenses, and then put the rest in an account, forget about it, and then just utilize what you have at hand, budget that amount. Because you don't always have to budget your full paycheck on paper, you really don't. You can pay yourself an amount and budget that amount and then let the rest be like a buffer or a buildup or a start your emergency fund on the side. Let it be something else. And that's a good way to start saving by just dedicating a certain amount to your personal. You have to pay your bills. You do have to do personal things for sanity. You have to eat. You have to get gas. All these types of things need to be budgeted in your regular budget. With that being said, my um, expected expenses for this month totals $2,693. That includes $1,243 of my regular monthly expenses, and then everything else is going to credit card debt. Now, the only thing that may give me a little extra money, um, unbudgeted money, is if my variable expenses meaning my water bill, my electricity bill, and my natural gas bill, if they are less than I have budgeted. So for my water bill, I have budgeted uh, $60. For my natural gas bill, I budgeted $40. And for my electricity bill, I budgeted $345. If either of those bills come in under the actual budgeted amount, then I'll be using that to go towards my weekly cash stuffing here. Do I have sinking funds? No, I do have some purpose funds that I'm using my savings challenges to stuff or any type of unexpected bulk money I'll use to stuff those. I don't expect any unexpected bulk money to come in. I do have an investment in one of my friend's businesses and they are doing very, very good. Um, we've just came off of back to school so they were moving and transporting and doing everything. And they were very, very lucrative in their business. And they do pay me quarterly payouts of that. So I should be expecting one any day now because this is the last quarter of the year. And so if I get that and decide to pay down debt or if I decide to put it towards my purpose funds, then I'll definitely let you guys know, okay? So the remaining that I'm going to um, be, I'm going to put $40 in my wallet this week. And that's just to spend any way that I want. That's just cash that I have on hand. My, my total is $40 for the week. That goes in my personal envelope that I take to the stores and everywhere else. That along with my personal credit card that I use for any expenses. I use my credit card, personal credit card for gas, for food, for a Snicker bar, a Skittles, anything that I choose to buy, I use my credit card, personal credit card for my weekly expenses for that. I swipe it and then at the end of the month, I pay it all off. Now, I do try to limit that. I do put myself on a budget. I don't just spend willy-nilly. I don't just scan and swipe willy-nilly. I put myself on a budget, a dedicated budget, meaning I don't want to spend over a certain amount. This week, I do not want to spend over $567. That's the total that I do not want to spend over this week. So that includes food, gas, whatever I need to spend on. I don't want to spend over that amount because if I do, then I'm dipping into some of the money that goes to my business to help pay that credit card off. As far as expenses, then... Um, I do have to have $1,243 go on my credit card. Other than those three variable bills, I can't pay those until they bill because I want to pay the actual amount. So I'll pay what I can and then wait on those three bills to bill. And then as far as my credit cards, that's left in the bank. That cash is left in the bank. And then I just pay those um, regular. Right now, I'm only paying the minimum amount on most of those credit cards because I got to get back on track of doing my debt journey. So until I get back on track of doing my debt journey, I'm going to pay just the minimum amount. Do I want to do that? No, but that's what I have to do right now. And that's what I'm doing. 
This week I am working with $176 cash because that's what was left over from my weekly bill expense for whatever bills were due this week. Now I have paid all my bills for the entire month that I could pay all the fixed bills for the month. But again, I allocate $850 to myself every week. And of that $850, this week, $167 is left. Next week, we'll see what's left. If I get any extra, if I have to take away some, we'll see what goes on, okay? I only have a limited amount of change here to drop. And that's because I'm coming off of a no spend, a no spend September. <laughs> so I didn't do too much spending. Now that third week, I did have my appreciation dinner and I spent some money. Okay. I did spend some money that week, but it was budgeted for. I had it and I didn't have to go back into my business account for anything. Um, this is change that goes along with that change I just dropped. And this $10 is actually going to start off my $10 um, savings card because I have not started my $10 yet. So I had spent 20, I used a $20 bill that was in my wallet, my cash wallet. And this is the change that I got back. So this 10 will be going to my savings challenge a little bit later. This amount is 176, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40. So that's 140. 150, 160, 65, 70, 75, and 76. And here's what we are going to do with it. First off, I'm going to go to my randomizer and I'm going to save in my new envelope. These are the envelopes that you get when you buy um, clothing from these different places. And they send you these big envelopes with your clothes in there. And I like them. So I just kind of decorate them. Simple decorations. Hello, October. And this is what I'm saving. I started in August. And whatever I accumulate from August to December, we'll be counting up and reallocating it some type of way at the end of the year. We won't count it until the end of the year, but we are guessing what the total amount we think is in these envelopes. I'm not keeping up. I don't know if you're keeping up, but I am going to write on this one what I think is going to come. Okay, so let me do my randomizer and I just simply go to random.org. I choose numbers, I choose integers, and then I tell it to give me four numbers between 1 and 20 or 1 and 10. Today, I'm going to do 1 and 20. Let's see what it gives me. Ooh, yikes. Okay, we got 14 plus 2 plus 16 plus 1. All right, starting the month off monthly, $33 and I don't have $33. Ooh. Um, well, let me just put 35 in there. I didn't get enough change. <laughs> $33 goes in here. So that'll be what we'll start off with. And I'll stick that over there. All right, next we're going to go to our Pinocchio Adventures of Pinocchio Book of Savings. And I want to save, um, what do I want to save? It's 41 since I got that odd dollar. 41, I'm going to do number 41. And all I'm doing here is whatever page number is on i'm going to save that amount so we're doing page 41 let me move this back and let me bring out my book okay let me hop back here to the um savings challenges and I have the 10. This will be my first 10 that I'm starting my card off with. And what I do is any change that I get, I just tend to put it in my purse and 
I started these challenges right here, these card challenges that I purchased from Mystique Budgets. And I plan to say ones, fives, tens, and twenties as I get changed. I don't know if I'll ever have any twenties simply because I don't have, I normally don't keep in my wallet anything over a hundred dollars. So I have to spend and spend and spend until I spend down. And I don't generally get, I get twenties and change, but I don't, I spend it. I spend it. I turn around and spend it. <laughs> That's what I do. All right. So my envelopes, my regular cash envelopes are not as bulky as they once were, but that's okay. And food, we only have $5 and today we are going to give it $20, $40. So it will now have $45. Housing has 10 and I'm going to leave that as that. Transportation has 30 and I'm going to add this 10 to that. So now it has 40. I'm skipping health and I may come back to personal situations. Only have $3 and we're going to just leave it like that for now. Where I'm trying to get to is the self-care. Month ahead is empty. We're going to leave um, that as it is for right now. Self-care, I really want to go and get these nails redone this has kind of lasted and i think i like the clear at the bottom because they've grown out but you may not be able to really tell that they've grown out so i kind of like that and i may choose a different color tip and then just get go back with just the white the the tip and the clear i like that so these are the dip nails and they've really really made my nails grow these are really really my nails really really my nails the dip um, makes them grow so fast, but I'm going to, um, it's time to get them redone. So I'm going to use my self-care money either later today or in the morning or what have you and go. But I have 20, 35, 45. So that's $45. And I need 85. So I need at least $40 in here, I guess. All right, 20, 40, 60, 75, 85, yeah. So I need at least $85 in this to get them done. And depending on what I choose to get done, if I choose the tips, then that'll be 55. And I may have enough to get my nails done, just a basic feet pedicure, basic foot pedicure. This last $10, I'm going to put in personal. And that way, if I have to... Um, need a little extra change or something like that because I don't know I can't remember if she charged me extra for this type of tip I know they charge you extra for the white tip but I'm not sure about this tip I need to pay attention next time I was just so ready to get them done and be relaxed I don't even know if she charged me or not <laughs> but either way that's that you guys I think I am going to go try to go and get that done today because I just you know how some days you just need to just woosah and relax. This is that day. This is that day I need to do that. So um, my trip is scheduled for later this in this month. So until next time, you guys, enjoy your day, night, whatever time it is, wherever you are. And if you have fall plans, let me know about them. I would love to know. I would love to know places to visit, to see what to do, what to all of that. So until next time, enjoy yourselves. Bye-bye, you guys.